Hello, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I have some really cute stamp sets that I'm going to be playing with in this video. These are new from Spellbinders. They're from the Card Maker Stamp Collection. This first one here is called Cute Boots. These are clear photopolymer stamps. And on the flip side, they give you a really cute card example. The second one is called Windy Sky Clear Stamp Set. And you could use this for rainy days or even for oceans like they do on the example for this card. I'm going to be creating two cards with these sets and I'm going to use the cute boots for both of them. But for card number one, I'm going to stamp out a pattern background of my own using some new cardstock from Spellbinders. I'm using Glacier and Silver Fox. So I cut a piece of Silver Fox down to three by six. I'm going to make a slimline, a mini slimline card with this. I'm going to stamp out this umbrella repeatedly on this panel. And I thought I was going to stamp out this, the folded up umbrella too, but I don't end up using that one. I was so enchanted with this cute umbrella stamp that I just wanted to stamp that over the whole panel. I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink, which is a nice pigment ink. I use this ink when I'm not using my stamp positioner because it's a sure thing. It's going to stamp out beautifully for you. You don't usually need to restamp it at all. But look how cute and sketchy these are drawn. I'll flip the block around as I stamp so that the umbrella is facing different directions. But look how cute that is. <laughs> I'm going to pull out some polychromos colored pencils to color in this panel. I'll stamp the little handle one last time at the bottom just to fill up the whole area. So I'm using three different colors of yellow and I'm starting out with my lightest yellow. I'm going to allow some of the gray cardstock to show through. These are just going to be fast, simple coloring. But I'm putting down the cream color first, and then I'll go in with my yellow. And then I'll come in with my darkest color, which is almost an orange, to put in some shadows. But I'm not even coloring the whole umbrella. Just I just want an indication of color <laughs> on this. I'm just going to color one for you on camera, and I'll Color in the rest off camera. Also, this Silver Fox cardstock was a really nice cardstock to use the colored pencils on. It has a good texture to it where you can do this. Not all colored cardstocks are the same, even though they come from the same company. But this one was a great cardstock to color on. I was able to put down these three layers of colored pencils, and I, it felt like I could put even more layers down if I wanted to. This was pretty fast to color in, and I sure had fun doing it. I just loved this image. And then I'm going to color in the handle to these umbrellas with a gray colored pencil. I want it to look a little bit metallic. Next, I'm going to stamp the little girl image on a piece of Glacier Blue cardstock. And I'm going to use my colored pencils again. I'm going to stamp her out with some dye ink. I only showed the stamping once, but I do stamp it up several times just to get a dark impression. Coloring on this Glacier Blue cardstock was a lot different from the Silver Fox cardstock. This one didn't take as many layers and it wasn't as fun to color on. I don't know what the difference is between the cardstocks. This must have something to do with the coloring. But this didn't take the colors very well, but that's all right. It's not meant to be a colored pencil paper. <laughs> but it is fun to try it out and use colored pencils over colored cardstock. So I'm going to color in the bottom of the umbrella with more of the yellows, but then I didn't want to have this be completely yellow. So the next stripe is going to be pink. 
And I'll come in with my pink, my lightest pink colored pencil, and then a bit of red to put down some shadows. I'm not putting much red down because I don't want it to look red. <laughs> in the polychromo set of colored pencils, there's not a lot of pinks, and so I didn't have many options. Here it is all colored in, both of my panels. I am going to re-stamp her. When I use my colored pencils, it does obscure the lines a little bit, so I like to crisp up the lines. So I'll stamp her with the same ink and stamp it up twice. So it's nice and dark again. I was careful not to go over the lines on my umbrella panel because I knew I couldn't re-stamp that one. I put a mask on her so that I could stamp out the little water puddle underneath her. And I just used a sticky note paper, the full adhesive back sticky notes. I love those. <laughs> and here's the cute little puddle under her boots. Now I am going to stamp, the, well, in this set there's a cute raindrop stamp. And I'm going to try to stamp that up and get all of the rain drops slanting down at the same angle. So I'm using some Versamark ink. And I'll stamp it down. I did use some anti-static powder first. And then I'll ink it up again. I'm trying to be very careful so that it slants the same angle as my first stamping. I'm going to stamp it down a few times. After I'm done with my stamping, I'm going to pour over some clear embossing powder. When I melt the embossing powder, it's going to capture the blue color, and then I can add a little bit of Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink over it. And it makes the rain look very subtle and pretty. Okay, let's pour over the clear embossing powder. It's really hard to see. And then I let my heat tool warm up and then I can melt the rain drops. You can kind of see them there, but you'll see them better once I put the Distress Oxide ink over them. And again, this is Salty Ocean and I don't want it to be really thick and heavy, so I'm going to tap it off on a piece of scrap paper first and then start blending on the masking paper and then just kind of move my way around the panel so it's very subtle. I don't want any harsh lines. But look how pretty the raindrops look. I'll keep building up my color until it's as dark as I want it to be. I don't want to go under her umbrella, but just kind of around it. And then I'll eventually come back and put some of this salty ocean on the puddle underneath her. I'm going to cut this out with a Spellbinders oval die. But first, let's wipe off the ink from the embossing. And I'll tape this in place and run it through my die cutting machine. Here it is all cut out. And this is where I put a little bit of salty ocean on the puddle. This stamp set just delights my heart. I love this little girl image and all of the stamps in it are just so cute. I'll pop this up with some foam tape. And it's going to hang off the side, but I am going to trim it down a little bit. I'll just flip it over and use my long scissors to do this. I go pretty slow so that I don't cut into my panel. But it looks like I'm in slow motion, but I'm not. <laughs> Okay, now let's work on the sentiment. The sentiments in this set are adorable. The one I chose says, Rain is just confetti from the sky. And I'm going to stamp it onto this piece of vellum. 
I used some anti-static powder first and I'm going to use my Onyx Black Ink, Versafine Onyx Black Ink. This will catch the embossing powder and hold on to it so that I can melt it and then it will be nice and shiny and a little bit raised off of the paper. I'll tap off the excess and then I'm very careful melting this so that I don't warp the vellum. I'll cut this down into a banner strip and then I'm going to just put white foam bits behind this and I'm going to line them up so there aren't any gaps. This will help the sentiment read better or be darker. I know a lot of people don't like to put things behind vellum but it worked in this instance because the paper behind it was gray and it just worked out. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this up above my little girl and then I can trim off the overhang again very slowly. <laughs> This yellow cardstock that I made my card base out of is called Beeswax and it matched my coloring perfectly. I made it just a little bit bigger than my usual slimline cards, which is three by six. It is a little bit taller and I do end up trimming it down. I put some water droplets around this panel and here is a close up look. Isn't that just fun? <laughs> this stamp set is fabulous. So on card number two, I have to use this, this windy sky background and I'm going to use some raindrop cardstock to stamp it on. I'll put a little bit of dot liner on the back and stick it in my Misty. And then I can just put this background, background stamp right over it. I'm going to emboss this. So I'll stamp it or ink it with more Onyx Black ink. I'll put my magnet here just to hold the foam pad in place. But let's put some anti-static powder down first. And then out comes the Versafine Onyx Black ink. I love this ink. And I stamp this up several times as well. It's a new stamp and it's such a large stamp that I did stamp it up at least four times. But I'll only show you one stamping. I do start pressing it down pretty hard on my other stampings, but here it is all done. Isn't that just lovely? Just a work of art. I love it. I'm going to pour more clear embossing powder over this. And then my heat tool is pretty much warmed up. So I'm going to quickly melt this. And this is fun to watch this melt. <laughs> I'm careful not to let the heat tool stay in one place for too long so that I don't warp my paper. But here I'm going to flip it around so that I don't burn my fingers. I was too lazy to find my tweezers. so I'm just going to put it down and pick it up on the other side and melt the last little bit. Look how beautiful that is. I do end up cutting this panel down a little bit. I stamped it a little bit crooked, but I was able to even it out with my paper trimmer. And now for the sentiment. This one says, I like people who smile when it rains. The third sentiment is really cute too. Let me find that. My desk is a mess at the moment. It says, when life gives you rainy days, wear cute boots and jump in the puddles. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I have a black card base. I have to put it on a piece of colored cardstock so that I can see it. It blends in really well with my work mat. But I just put that down with a little bit of dot liner. 
The sentiment I'm going to leave in a strip, but I'm going to put some of this Dahlia pink behind it to make it pop a little bit more off of my card. I will trim this down so that it uh, matches the length of my blue panel. I cut out another oval with a piece of vellum and I'm going to have it go off the side again. So I'll trim that off, just kind of holding it in place. I use some foam tape behind the sentiment and I'll try to put this straight on the card, just eyeballing it here. But I left the right side blank so that I could put my vellum piece as well as the little girl. I stamped her out on some white cardstock and colored her in with some Copic markers this time. And I wanted to color her little jacket or her raincoat blue to match all the blue that's going on in the card. So I glued her down flat onto the vellum and now I'm putting a little bit of liquid glue and a foam piece at the top where it's going to go over the sentiment strip. So it's all one level. I added some sparkle to the umbrella and her boots with some Wink of Stella clear glitter pen. And then I added a few sequins and that's all there is to this card, but I just love how this one turned out. These stamp sets were so much fun to play with. I will have the links listed below to all of the products that I used to create these two cards today. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.